Hello, and welcome to Art Appreciation. My name is Bobby Croft, and I'll be your instructor for this course. So in this video, we are going to talk about course um, expectations, what to expect um, at, from assignments, what to expect from me as your instructor, and certainly what I expect um, from you as a student. Um, so real quickly, my background, I am a ceramic artist. Primarily, I have a small business um, where I create functional ceramic wares that I then sell um, at shows or online. I am also a painter and a graphic designer, um, so I do a little bit of everything in that um, sense of the word, uh, but I'm also an art educator, and that's where my heart really lies. Um, currently, I'm an elementary art teacher, um, K pre-K through fifth grade, so I currently teach um, but I also taught seven years of middle school, some virtual high school, 12 years of college. Um, I also work with adult or adult um, art education, so a little bit of everything. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to teaching this course as well. So enough about me. Um, let's dive right in. So we're going to talk about the syllabus. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, um, but I am going to highlight a lot of really key information. Um, so first and foremost, this course is asynchronous, meaning that we are never going to have a face-to-face -face, um, class meeting or a virtual class meeting. As an asynchronous course, I'm going to post um, readings and videos to watch, uh, and you are going to be giving assignments. And you're going to do this at um, uh, you're going to do this independently. Uh, we're not going to have lectures, uh, so on and so forth. However, uh, if you find that there is a need for us to meet, um, we can schedule a virtual meeting uh, via office hour or whatever uh, for for us to chit chat and to to get you whatever assistance that you need. Uh, so. Um, as you can tell in the syllabus, I do not have typical office hours. Uh, I'm teaching during normal business hours. So my office hours are appointment only, and typically they're gonna happen in the evening or if worse comes to worse, on the weekend. So um, as we scroll through the syllabus, you can see the course description and um, the learning objectives primarily our focus this semester is going to be learning the foundation of the of art. We're going to talk about art vocabulary, the building blocks of art, how art is created. We're going to get into how to formally analyze the work of art. We're going to talk about art history. And then towards the end of the semester, if we have time, we're going to talk about current art issues and topics within the art community right now. So scrolling right through there, um, course materials, uh, there's not going to be a required textbook for this course that you have to purchase. There is a textbook, but I have provided a virtual copy um, in Canvas, and we'll talk about that here in a moment, um, that you can download and read um, as part of your required readings each week. Um, any other materials that you need, I'm going to provide to you in weekly outlines, and I will show you how to access all of that here momentarily. Um, during the course, you're going to have an opportunity. It's not a requirement, but there's going to be an opportunity uh, for you to create some artwork yourself. And for those assignments, you might need some basic art materials. Nothing fancy. You can pick up these materials at Walmart or Target, the Dollar General. They do not have to be nice um, quality, uh, top of the line. Uh, they just have to function. Um, and we'll, we'll get into that uh, when we get into different ways of creating art. For that, um, really all you need is a camera um, or a scanner that you can take an image of your work to send to me. Um, and the camera on your phone is just perfectly fine. Um, so we'll get into that later on. Um, like I said, it's not a requirement, um, but it is an option for some of your assignments later on. Um, so weekly outlines will be posted no later than Sunday night for the following week. Um, I'm going to try as the semester pro um, progresses to get those out a little bit earlier. So if you wanted to um, get a jump start over the weekend, you can. But right now, 
I'm just trying to get things out to you in a timely manner. So I'm aiming for Sunday nights, um, and then you'll have all week to complete your required assignments and activities. Uh, so for this course, um, we're going to have three main assignment, um, three main assignment types. Um, the first is going to be a weekly topic uh, assignment. So each week there's going to be a different topic that we're going to read about and to discuss. And for those assignments, or for those topics, you're going to have an assignment that is going to be due um, at the completion of the week. Um, so these are going to be short writing assignments, um, potentially works of art, uh, web quest, things that are going to link straight to that assignment. And like I said, those are going to be due Sunday nights at midnight at the conclusion of the week. There's going to be one formal writing assignment that's going to be broken into two parts. The first part, you're going to visit a gallery or a museum um, to view artwork in person. And we'll talk about that more later on. And then from that experience, you're going to complete a formal analysis of a work of art. I'm going to introduce that um, roughly one month into the course, and then it will be due towards the end of the semester. And then you're going to have one final exam um, that is going to be cumulative, um, and it's going to be open note. Um, so um, we'll talk about that more later on in the course as well. So I'm not going to go over the grading policy for you right now. You can see that. It's pretty standard. However, I am going to talk about my late work. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to accept any late work um, without prior agreement with me as your professor. Um, and I hardly ever um, grant extensions. Um, we are all adults. We all have a lot of things on our plates. I get it, but this is a priority. Um, your coursework is a priority. Um, so make sure that you are taking the time to plan, but life happens. Um, and if you communicate with me and you get my, um, agreement and, uh, my extension for an, uh, my agreement for an extension, um, will that happen? Um, I've been teaching for 10 years and I can probably count on one hand the number of times that I've actually given, um, extensions. Um, this is for family emergencies, personal emergencies, medical emergencies, um, picking up an extra shift is not going to count um, as a reasonable excuse. Um, so communicate with me. I, I'm not heartless, but um, this is an expectation that I hold pretty steadfast to. Um, once again, asynchronous course, there's not going to be any face-to-face -face or virtual meetings. So class participation is not going to be, um, or attendance is not going to be an issue. Class participation, however, make sure you're getting your assignments finished on time um, and communicate with me if you have any issues um, or questions or things that you want to talk about. Um, and that will, will count as your class participation. Communication with me. Uh, please only use your FSU email. Um, I've had students in the past use personal emails or work emails, and they end up in the junk mail, or I don't see them um, in a timely manner. So please, that, please make sure you're only using your FSU email. Uh, when it comes to response time, I ask for a 24-hour response time. I try to respond to you even earlier than that, um, but this is not my only gig. I'm a full-time art teacher, um, I run a business, and I have a family. I have three kids, one less than a month old, um, that I take care of. So please be understanding of that and um, give me um, the professional courtesy to respond within 24 hours. Um, on the weekends, I ask for 48 hours. Um, I also want to instill that I am not going to respond to emails about assignments that are due within 24 hours. Um, so if we have an assignment due Sunday night at midnight and you're emailing me at 5 p.m. on Sunday night, I'm not going to respond to your email. I'm 
working really hard to to create professional boundaries. Um, so please respect that. Um, if you have if you have questions about assignments, uh, try to get them into me no later than noon on Friday so I can respond to you. Um, but I'm going to really encourage that each week, early on in the week, Monday or Tuesday, you read over the assignments. So if you do have a question, you can email me then and we can talk about it. Here's my tentative outline for the course. Um, you can see each week is broken into different topics. There's going to be assignment each week with um, the larger assignment um, halfway through the semester and a final exam at the very end. And then the rest of the syllabus is just the standard um, university policies that I have to share with you, um, and you can read those um, on your own. So that's the syllabus. If after you read it, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. So let's dive into course navigation. So everything is posted on the home screen. Um, day one, this is just some useful information that I've kind of collected. Um, having taught 10 years in different asynchronous um, kind of um, situations, these are pieces of information um, that um, really seem to be helpful for students. Um, so that's there for you to, to view. Course materials. So um, this course, like I said, the textbook is going to be provided to you. Um, I'm going to encourage that you download this and put it somewhere on your computer um, as it is a larger file. Um, if you're leery about that, you can leave it in Canvas and view it in Canvas. Um, but as you can see, it takes some time to load. Um, this textbook we're going to use um, from time to time, not every week, um, but uh, from time to time, there's going to be required readings in it. Um, I am going to note that follow the page numbers that are listed at the bottom of the page, not the file number pages, but use the pages that I have uh, that are at the bottom of the, the, the pages um, so that you can navigate. If I tell you to read pages 99 through 110, use those numbers. So there's your textbook. Going back into the course navigation, um, you can see it that I have things broken down in two weeks, um, and those will be loaded weekly. When you get into a new week, I have a weekly outline. I would suggest printing this off and using it as a checklist as you complete things for the week. So week number one, our topics are going to be what is art and what is the purpose of art. So you can see uh, with it, within the what is art topic, I'm going to have you read the chapter of the textbook that I just showed you. You're going to review slides, and I'll show you how to navigate that, and then an article and watch a video. And you can see that I have these hyperlinked. So if you were to click on that, it would bring up an article for you to read um, or a video to watch. And then you can see that I also have done that for purpose of art. Um, I would suggest read through these and take good notes. Um, the exam um, and the assignments are all open note. So the better notes that you take, the less you have to go back and review. Um, so make sure that you are taking care of business when it comes to that. Um, when, as we scroll down, you can see essential vocabulary. Each week, I'm going to give you essential vocabulary words that you really should know um, as the course pro um, progresses. Uh, these vocabularies, I'm going to expect that you use in writings, uh, and then certainly you're going to see these on the final exam. And then at the bottom of the outline for each week, you're going to find your assignment. So assignment week for week number one is going to be um, a short writing activity where you're going to define um, art. And you can read the full um, assignment expectations back in the folder. So here is another document that I have outlined in the, the weekly um, outline, but here you can see that I have the course or the assignment outline. So I have the expectation or the assignment itself and then formatting guidelines down below. You can see it is due on September 3rd, which happens to be Sunday night at midnight. Um, and that's how each week is going to be set up. We have an outline, any articles that are not attachments in the 
um, outline are listed there and then an assignment. So as you get comfortable, as you navigate and explore um, what um, I have here in Canvas for you, if you have questions, concerns, please reach out to me. Um, take the time now to get um, accustomed to how this course is set up so that um, as the semester picks up steam, um, you have a pretty good grasp as to what you are doing. Um, once again, I am here um, to help you succeed in this class. Um, if, if you stay on top of things and you create yourself um, an out, uh, a schedule of how you're going to complete your stuff, um, I'm sure you'll do just fine in this course. Um, but I am here, um, if all else fails, to help you and to, to, to give you some guidance. Um, with that being said, I don't have anything else really to talk about now. Um, so review the syllabus, review course outlines, and then you can get started right away. Um, all the all the all the best luck to you as you get started this semester, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you.